Welcome to another free mini tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In this lesson, we're going to learn about a very powerful function, one of my favorites, called if. All right, that's the immediate if function, or IIF. The if function is just like an if then statement if you're familiar with Visual Basic. However, you can do it all within one little function. Here's a quick example for the if function. I have a basic customer table with customer ID, first name, last name, and the customer's state. Let's say I need a query to show me whether or not this customer is taxable. And I'm only going to charge sales tax for customers in my state, or for example, New York. So let's make a basic query that'll tell me whether or not this customer gets charged sales tax. So I'll go to queries, and then new, design view, and then OK. I'll bring over the customer table and hit close. Now I cover basic query design in my Access 101 class. If this seems unfamiliar to you, check out my Access 101 tutorial first. I'll bring over the first name, last name, and state of this customer. And if I run the query now, you can see that's all I've got. I'm going to create a new calculated column and I'm going to call this field is taxable creating my own new calculated field now in here I want to put a yes or no or a true or a false or a one or a zero whatever you want to do based on whether or not this customer is from New York so I'll say colon and then if, I, I, F, that's the immediate if function. Now the immediate if function takes three bits of information inside of parentheses. First, what are we checking? Well, I want to say if the state equals, and then in quotes, New York. That's what I'm checking to see. Comma. The second bit of information is what value do I put here if that condition is true? Well, I'll put in here the value true, comma, otherwise I'll put in here the value false. And then when I hit tab, you can see access puts square brackets around my state. That's fine. So what does this say? Well, this says is taxable if the state is New York, then true, otherwise false. And if I run the query, there you go. Axis, of course, uses negative 1 for true and 0 for false. And you can change those values if you want to. Instead of true and false, you can simply put in here the words yes or no and run it. And there you can see I now have the words yes or no. And that is using the if function. Right? Three bits of information. What are you checking? The value to put in here if it's true the value to put in here if it's false. Now I've just scratched the surface of the if function. There's so much more you can do with it. You can make query fields out of it. You can use it in forms. You can use it in reports. I do all kinds of things. Um, in my Access 207 class, for example, when I, when I teach my students the if function, we use it to determine if something happens in the future or not. If the date of the record is greater than today's date, do this. Otherwise, do that. So you can use the if function in all kinds of different places. Again, Access 207 is where I cover it. AccessLearningZone.com, question mark, G-O-A-C-207. That's the direct link to that class. And you'll learn more about the if function. And of course, while you're there, stop by the tips and tricks section at AccessLearningZone.com slash tips for lots more free tutorials just like this one.